Hi, flying out of South Korea today, going back to the US, um, but staying a few days in London, just for a quick meeting and some video shoots at the Asiana Lounge now. Food's pretty good. Fried chicken. Well, the skin is actually crispy. You don't see that a lot on the buffet. Anyway, flying Cathay Pacific business class today. I haven't done that in a long, long time, but I do remember the food being really, really good. See you on board. So this will be a four hour flight to Hong Kong. Pretty cozy seat. You get a little mirror to check yourself out. Headphones. Screen just ugh, pops right out. Good amount of movie selection. There is gonna be a dinner of seasonal fruit, crab meat with apple, pomegranate salad. Hmm. Main dish is either gonna be wok fried prawns and sugar snap peas, or Korean bulgogi beef red finger, or roast chicken breast with black truffle port wine sauce. Let's go for this. A selection of ice cream. Meal is served. A stir fried prawns with snow peas, some carrots, cabbage over rice. I think this is a crab salad. Oh, this looks good. Slices of almonds. This is all giant pieces of crab. Oh, the salad is like 95% crab meat. This is great. One thing I've ever seen a crab salad where there's just much crab. Sweet pop from the pomegranate. I've had Chinese food in such a long time. Uh, prawns and some rice. Carrots and the snow peas are really, really sweet. The prawns are nice and snappy. I feel like it'd be better. Although I feel like they use a little flavor, like there's missing some soy sauce. Trizzle the gravy over the rice. An okay dish. Best thing on this plate, 100% of crab. I kind of wish I opted for the truffle chicken. So do you have a little bit of food regret? So I feel like airlines should just offer a buffet. That's just the way to do it. Just arrived in Hong Kong and even the escalators are on the other side. It's about 11 o'clock at night. And hopefully this lounge is still open. Well, the lounge is open, there's just no food. Oh no, this all used to be food. Wow, this is a beautiful lounge though. It's so elegant, there's a bar right there. Wow, so pretty. I bet the food would have been great. There's also showers here. There's a tea house, interesting. So the noodle area is still open. Oh, there's a lot of noodles. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. This is a brand new lounge and it is just so pretty. It's probably one of the most prettiest lounges I've ever been in. I wish the buffet was open so I could see what's, what they are offering over there, but I'm excited. I like it. We pretty much ordered everything on the menu. You hungry? Yeah. We ordered everything. Like we, we were up at that bar for like 10 minutes ordering pretty much everything. And then they have a tea room, so we're gonna go hit the tea room after this. This is so cool. It's ready. This is so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, grab the noodle soup, you get the dim sum. Look at this, and little baskets too. So we got, again, all the noodles on the menu. Okay, so this is um, mala beef, wonton noodles, we got dandan mein, pork bone soup, oh, the cha shao bao, the barbecue pork bun, the shou mai, what is that? Oh, that's the custard bun, we each got one. We gotta eat this first when the lava is flowing. That's delicious. This is a dandan noodle, so it has a lot of peanut sauce. Mmm. Delicious. Very peanutty, but very mala. One time noodle soup. Fantastic. Got the floating bits of scallions right here. That's very authentic. Wonton. Mmm, bouncy and shrimpy. Not bad at all. Some hot 
more than two. Mm. Noodles are springy and delicious too. This is the mala beef and mushroom over rice. Mm. This tastes like a water braised beef. And that Sichuan dish, very spicy. And finally, pork bone soup. Ooh. Should be very healthy. Mm. That is very herby. Everything's good. <laughs> so nice. Shomai is delicious too. Cha Shao Ba. Nothing I don't like here. I might just be really overly excited about all this, but everything tastes good. Again, I wish that buffet was open. I bet you there would have been so much good food over there. Next time. All right, so you can look at the tea and choose one. Oh, there's a lot. Hmm. Oh, I like a little poor. So you may, so you order it and they make it for you. Got a chrysanthemum tea and a puar tea. This is the puar tea. Delicious. Mmm. Ah, they even give me give it to me in a hot cup. Mmm. Ah, delicious, delicious, delicious. Chrysanthemum. Floral and light, the poor is more heavy, more fermented, more full bodied. It's a two hour layover, it's just flying by right now between the food and the tea lounge. This is such a great airport lounge. <laughs> so cool. So, the same flight we're on last time. This is interesting. Cafe Delight. Mm, it's like a minty yogurt drink. Mm, that's pretty good. Travel pack. Toothpaste. I get really excited for a big tube of toothpaste. I really do. Face mist and lotion. Put this in here. Everything else is pretty much the same layout as the last flight. There is a blanket set and slippers, which is really exciting. Let's see what's on the menu. Hmm, a large bowl of pea soup with minted cream and croutons. Braised beef brisket and tinder noodle soup. Zucchini and green asparagus risotto. Chicken randon with nasi lemak. Wok fried pork ribs with honey and Chinese olive sauce. There's a cheese selection, then dessert. I like this. This is the all day food. So braised beef brisket and tinder noodle soup. You can have that all day. Huh, so that's also the main dish. So, oh, this is perfect. I can have that soup whenever I want. So then I'll just go for the nasi lemak or the pork ribs. Pork and prom bao, and then just random snacks. There's a breakfast as well. Looks good. Dinner is served. This is a really simple layout for Cathay standards. Just a simple nasi lemak and a piece of rye bread. Nasi lemak, one of my favorite dishes. This thing is curry chicken, a little dry fish with peanuts, cucumbers. Mm, that's pretty delicious. Yeah, turbulence is pretty crazy right now. I'm happy I did not order a boiling hot bowl of beef noodle soup. The sambal is delicious. I wish it was more spicy, but chicken has tons of flavor. Mm, the curry is sweet and coconutty while I'm eating watching this uh, documentary on Anthony Bourdain's life, feeling a little emotional. I mean, I probably watch everything this man's ever made and he's such a food hero to me. Anyway, the little fish and crunchy peanuts, probably my favorite part of the whole nasi lemak experience. And it's really hard balancing little peanuts on a fork with this crazy turbulence. I'm gonna do a little less filming and concentrate on balancing the food on my fork. Good morning, about six more hours to the UK. I am starving. Let's get that beef noodle soup. It's the beef noodle soup with really thin noodles. Giant chunks of beef. That broth is really nice. Some hot sauce.
This is definitely better than some instant noodles that a lot of airlines give you. This is delicious. Mm. Noodles are extremely chewy. Oh, you got a whole piece of tendon right here. Giant chunks of beef. This is really delicious beef noodle soup. Being able to get this anytime you want, as much as you want, as a snack. That should tie me over. At this time, some dim sum fruit and kanji. Chicken kanji. Oh, kanji not my favorite food in the world. Especially savory kanji. Being a northern Chinese, I'm really used to it. But every time I eat it, it's pretty good. Dim sum is really good. Actually, right before breakfast, I tried to get another bowl of beef noodle soup, and they have a bun I didn't get. They both ran out. No surprise, that noodle soup is amazing. All right, two more hours till we land. I'll see you in London. Just got to London. Um, actually, didn't realize the first stop we were making in the UK was Manchester. And then the airport walk from Terminal 1 to Terminal 3 in Manchester. Felt like we were actually walking to London. But here we are. And it's raining. I like that. This hotel definitely looks haunted though. Cozy little room. But look at this view. Amazing. Just falling leaves. All day long. Bathroom. Oh, bathroom's pretty nice. Shower stall, towels. Hotels in the UK are so extremely expensive. This is the only sort of affordable one uh, that we could find in London. Eh, that's not creepy at all. Oh, this place looks good. Flat iron. So this apparently is a, is a chain, steak chain, that's really popular and it looks awesome. So first of all, any place that gives you a little mini butcher knife, I'm a fan of. So you get steaks, homemade beef dripping chips, that sounds so freaking delicious. Bunch of sauces, wild mushroom, peppercorn, chili, mayo. Beef special is a burger, yeah. Some good eating is about to happen. Apple and pear cake. Mm. They also give you popcorn rendered in beef fat. I love this place. Food is here. This is the flat iron steak. This is the bavet steak. So um, what they're saying is the bavet steak is a little more chewy but got a bit of a more intense flavor. And the flat iron is just melty. Cooked medium rare. Oh, this just feels so tender. Just kind of prodding it with my fork. Also got cream spinach, two different sauces, and these are the beef dripping chips. I think these are fried in beef fat. These are so good. Wow. These might be some of the crunchiest chips ever. I mean, listen. Flat iron steak. Just for the sake of using this, I'm gonna cut this in half. Mm. Flat iron steak is tender. Dip it in some of the sauce. This is the mushroom sauce. Oh wow. I will highly recommend the sauce. The mushroom sauce is so earthy. Ton of mushroom flavor. And this is the peppercorn sauce. Oh, that's fantastic as well. This is the Scottish Bavette steak. They said it's gonna be less tender or more flavor. Oh, I like that more. Way more beef flavor. I'm pretty tender as well. 
Mm. This place is so nice. Cream spinach is good. Like they made this with fresh spinach. Absolutely delicious. The fries, everything, sauce, the steaks. I just overheard they got a, uh, they may have a ribeye. If they do, I'm getting that too. I love this place. I sold out of the ribeye. Too bad. I'll definitely come back to this place. This is really cool. At the end, you get a little mini cleaver that you can exchange for some ice cream. Or you just keep it. This is pretty cool. I like this. We just put it in here? Yeah. Okay. Ah, there you go. Thank you so much. Wow. Look at that. This is really, really good. Thank you so much. That's a really good deal. So a steak is about 15 bucks, and that's, of course, including tax, including gratuity. And the steak is amazing. And the ice cream alone, this is delicious ice cream. You just get this for free. I'm gonna go back there again, like, in like two hours, three hours. All right, it's about 5 p.m. I took a shower, and uh, it's bedtime. <laughs> First night is always the hardest. Anyway, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Guys, I've been talking about HelloFresh for many, many, many years now. They were one of my first sponsors. It's still something I highly recommend to people. If you're looking into getting a meal kit, if you just want to simplify your cooking life, you don't want to go to the grocery store as much, you got to give HelloFresh a try. First of all, it's just delicious. And that makes sense because HelloFresh recipes features produce that goes from the farm to your front door in under a week, which means their spring menu features the season's freshest flavors. Also, it's so quick to prepare. HelloFresh offers a wide variety of quick and easy recipes that really minimizes your prep time and makes cleanup a breeze. Also, if you want to eat healthier, HelloFresh has fit and wholesome recipes. It makes it so easy to eat well without sacrificing flavor. So you can maintain your goals and feel good with your food choices. And like I said, HelloFresh recipes include pre-portioned ingredients. That means less prep time for you and less food waste. So if you want to give this a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code CHEN16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six boxes and free shipping. Seriously, over the past several years, I don't think I ran into a single HelloFresh recipe I didn't absolutely love. And I think you guys are gonna really like this as well. All right, gotta go to bed. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.